2021 meeting of the senior commission. Um, with with business is to establish a quorum. I'll take roll. Uh, Commissioner O'Reilly present. Chair O'Reilly present. Uh, Vice Chair Nagao. Present. Uh, Commissioner Basiji. Absent. Commissioner Cohen. Here. Commissioner Torbeck. Not yet. Commissioner Yu. Not yet. And Commissioner Bulkholz. Here. So we have four and we have a quorum. So let's proceed with our meeting. Um, Bridget, could you put the flag up and we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh. Yes, I can. And let me share the screen and we will get to the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, just we'll all, we'll all say it together. I'll okay. start. I pledge allegiance to the, to the, to the flag, flag of the United, United States of America, America. America. and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation, nation under, God, under God, indivisible, with liberty, with liberty and justice, justice for all. Okay. Thank you. Bridget, uh, would uh, you introduce our a new staff. Of, and yes, I thank you, Chair O'Reilly. Um, it is my my great pleasure. Let me stop the share here. Is I wanted to introduce you all to um, Ian Getz, who is our new marketing specialist. Um, Ian, how it's been? What two weeks now? Two weeks? Yeah, I want to say so. Two weeks. So two, yeah. three. Is, is there a video of, of Ian? Hi, I'm right here. Um, oh, there. Here. <laughs> Ian, do you, do you want to tell them a little bit about you? Um, yeah, um, my name's Ian. I was born and raised in Pennsylvania, went to school in Chicago. Uh, I moved to the West Coast when I took a job working for State Parks in Big Sur. Um, from there, I created the social media platform and some of their marketing principles, and then I uh, got the lovely job here working for Los Altos, and I'm excited to see what, what can be done and how I can help, you know? So that's all. Thank you, Welcome. Ian. Well, really welcome happy to aboard. Have you. Welcome aboard. We're pleased to have you. Um, Thank you. I was just thinking about that when uh, uh, Bridget and it said we she was going to introduce you and your marketing, and we do need that that aspect as we open up the new center and reopen yes. Grant Park, at least from the seniors uh, aspect. So we're pleased to have you and uh, hoping you can help us with our, our plans for uh, making that a successful unfolding. So welcome aboard. Thanks so much. Pleasure to be aboard. You're, you're welcome to stay with us or you have other things to do or other duties, but uh, thank you. Um, Bridget, do we have uh, any um, requests for comments for um, items not on the agenda? Uh, I haven't received any emails about specific public comments, but um, I I do see a guest, um, Catherine Miller. If if Catherine wanted, if she had a public comment. I wasn't sure. Doesn't doesn't appear so. All right. <clears throat> so we'll move we'll move on to. He is on board. Mm. Hello. I see. Z, you. Hi. Good to see you, Z. Hi. Uh, you know, Kevin. Um, before we begin, I have a question. So, did you see my email? I asked if you wanted me to send, uh, Cherry 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 the the materials. Yes, I, I did. I responded, but I apparently you didn't get it. So I yeah, I, no, I did not get it. So I haven't weird. sent it to her yet. All right, I was waiting for you. For All something. right, let's let's do a little email after this meeting, and okay, I'll, I'll settle it out. Okay. okay. Um, 
before we get to our items, I'd like to just, uh, I think, I hope most of you have had the opportunity to um, sign in on the town hall on senior issues that uh, Mayor Flagger uh, conducted. And I just want to thank Mayor Flagger on behalf of the Senior Commission for just taking the initiative and doing that. It was just a, a well, need, well done and well needed uh, discussion. So thanks again, Mayor Flagler. Thank you, Chair O'Reilly. And I was happy to do it and it was well received. I have received several positive comments. So thank you for your support. And of course, thanks to Cherry and Bridget and everybody else who helped to put it together. Yes. Thank you. All right, well, we'll move to the um, items for consideration. The first item is minutes. Uh, again, I'll ask if we have anybody who has comments on this item, the minutes from the previous meeting. So, um, I do. Bridget? You want me to share? Yeah, the meeting's up, uh, Bridget, the minutes okay. up on the screen. Okay. Please. So I trust everyone has had the opportunity to read through these, but uh, Kevin, I think Jane wants to make a comment. Jane, uh, Commissioner Cohn. Thank you. On page number two, on the top of page number two, the first line. I'm not clear on what COVID-19 protocols open means. What are we What are we meaning by the word open? Well, let me read that sentence. Uh, I'll read the sentence prior to it. Then on March 1st, the subcommittee will share the updated work plan with the entire commission to see if they have any updates or changes that would be made. Wait, wait. Unable to research recommendations until after COVID-19. Yes, that uh, protocol's open. Ooh. I'm not sure. We have a non sequitur. I think we just need a, a wordsmith, another word, um, loosen up or change what, what it was meant by that open do we know i probably means published published in the sense of made uh, active one thing i if i may uh chair o'reilly is that yes. the minutes too are action minutes so i think it's a recorded of what was said so i don't know if we're able to change, if it's it's more of action minutes. And um, uh, Mayor Flagger, if I'm incorrect on that, um, please let me know. But um, I think we are just normally taking action minutes. Um, Bridget, that's correct. We don't do verbatim um, minutes. It's just things that we want to record or direction that was given or things that need to happen. Right. Okay, I have a couple of other things. Uh, going down the list of the four goals. We have six goals, so I'm wondering why only four goals were itemized. In that same section, do you see? Goal, yeah. One, two, three, and four, but we don't have goal five or goal six there. I, well, I, I don't think we have to change anything now. I'm just pointing out a couple things. So I, it's just up to you. And, and, and the last thing, on the last page, the, the uh, bolded item before adjournment, commission and staff reports, on the first paragraph, second line, it says March 1st, but I think it's, I think it's meant to say April 1st. Oh. Where is that? So oh, under commission on the third page, sta co commission and staff reports the second line flush left. It says March first, but I think we mean April first. That's when the reorganization is going to happen in April. Oh. Correct. Okay. All right. Let's, let's strike the word next. 
because this is the next meeting from that time. So the senior commission meeting on March, on April 1, will feature reorganization of the senior commission. That's yeah, all. that's all, just the month to change. All right, it. that's good. Okay, well, that's all I have, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. So any other observations, corrections, uh, modifications of the minutes from any of the members of the commission? I move to approve. All right, we have a motion to approve the minutes. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The motion's carried, the minutes are approved. Now if I can find my agenda again, there we go. Fiscal year. Twenty twenty one work plan update. Right. So there is a cover, there was a cover note with the um, work plan, which you see on the screen. And this is just uh, just setting the uh, parameters. We will meet with the, we'll have a joint meeting with the city council on May, in May, and our next meeting in, is in April. And at that time, we will have uh, hopefully completed an agreed upon version of our work plan. So today's exercise is to go through it, go through our work plan project by project and make any adjustments or changes as needed. Does that make uh, that a good way to proceed? Uh, any other ideas about how to proceed with this? All right, um, uh, let's, uh, probably an easy way to do this is to uh, have the people who are assigned, the commissioners who are assigned, lead, uh, lead some, lead the commentary on, the, on each particular goal and, um, and take it from there. So the, on goal number one, vision to expand use of community centers by seniors, project one. Can you put the work plan on screen? Yes, I'm sorry, I should have done that. Um, it, 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 do you not see it? Well, um, no. Bill's in, in London, that's a long way. <laughs> yeah, I do have it up. Everybody Come on. Has. You just Never. scroll down because it's, uh, we still have the cover letter. Oh, okay, yeah. let's try this. Let me try that again. Okay. How about now? Thank you, thank you, Bridget. So actually, I would the, the the two people who took the lead on on project number one are Commissioner Nagao and Commissioner Cohen, um, and made some visits to our neighboring communities. Um, so we have the project is review other senior programs, neighboring communities. Where are we with that? Does that? So I think this is. Chris, I, I think that we agreed that we were going to wait till the end of the fall based on the fact that we're unable to go ahead to personally communicate with the local similar agencies. All right, uh, Commissioner Cohen, you in, a, you in accord with that? I think that's what I recall too. Yes, we're, we're on a hiatus from that. Um, we pretty much got shut down when the pandemic struck and all the senior centers closed so we have to reinitiate it and we're going to have to go back and redo because people are going to change all kinds of stuff going forward and it's going to be fascinating to see the difference between what was and what's going to be coming in the in the future so mm -hmm. we've got to learn from each other so i would say the status um the current status is that the evaluation of four cities um has has paused or something like that, and will be re will be reinitiated um, when not the pandemic's over, but 
when facilities mm -hmm. open or when, right. con when conditions uh, allow, I guess is something like that. Yeah. Right. Make it more accurate because we're not actually doing it right now. So it's not in process. All right. So so evaluation it is paused and will be re-initiated when conditions allow. Yes, something like that. Right, something like does, that, that. does that make sense to you, Chris? Yeah, well, it does make sense to me because there really isn't anything we can do at this point. Yeah. Well, all right. I, I think that, and I, I, that's probably going to apply to mm -hmm. Other. the bulk of these priorities. Uh, kind of you know in suspended animation in some ways uh, project two o'reilly nagao and cohen and this was community engagement and work with city staff to prioritize programs and facility use to add adjust enhance and most of this is uh, the, the heavy listing on this has all been done by our staff our wonderful staff and all those great offerings and activities they put out they're very inventive um, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I think uh, that will be ongoing and it, and again that's going to shift and change as as the uh, conditions change mm -hmm. um, I am really impressed with the amount and uh, appropriateness as I got the uh, newsletter uh, by email uh, you guys, the staff has done a fabulous job. Really, I, I concur. Easily, they've 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 really amazing. I I didn't think that um, that many things could happen, but this uh, this is a great staff, and they've come through. What, what is the attendance um, at this time of um, isolation? I don't, I, we have to have some staff, uh, maybe uh, Sherry uh, could respond to that or is there a way to know yet? Hi, at most of our events uh, online, we have uh, anywhere from 10 to 25 people. How's that? That's great. Yeah. And now that we're doing cross uh, advertisement, I know uh, some of our contract instructors, we're uh, letting the community know about them and they are engaging in those as well, like the Greentown um, workshop that they're now engaging in that has, I'd say, Bridget, was it say 35 to 40 people? Yes. Oh, it's gone up even more. It's like 42. Um, mm -hmm. I was just sending Gary his updated email or roster. It's like, I think it's, I don't have it right in front of me, but it was, it's around 40 for Tuesday and Thursday. It's amazing for virtual. And then yeah, Terry yeah. with her virtual has been getting really good attendance. Yeah, with Very our foreign affairs group, for instance, we have 35. So it's, it's starting to grow even. Um, and now with Ian on board with our cable programming, we have it where we can get more response. He's put it he's worked it into our cable programming so people will know to, to let us know how the show is, shows are going and we've been getting response from that too okay well if, you know, maybe the comment would be programs are uh, growing and increasing in, yes uh, okay. in, in attendance and participation Sarah O'Reilly if I may yes um, and I think one of the other things is there is the work plan subcommittee group. So the changes that are brought up today, we can always set a time um, to do another meeting to input those updates. And then we would share with the rest of the group as well. Okay. I'm just sort of taking some notes here and trying yes. to get, get, get feedback. Um, all right, at channel 15, um, Somebody remind me uh, where we are with that. I, I, I personally don't get channel 15 because I'm, I'm on another system. Okay, so I can answer that. Uh, we are still going strong with, we just posted March's uh, videos to the network. 
and we are I'd say we're targeting more fitness kinds of activity. So we just added Tai Chi to the format mm -hmm. and we have yoga. Uh, we have uh, our, we have an intergenerational programming where we have youth who are coming in and showing us how to play ukulele uh, for this month. They're showing us how to bake from French recipes. So it's, it's uh, standing pretty strong and stable. Great, great. That sounds great. All right, project, uh, so goal two, reestablish participation in and awareness of the Los Altos, Los Altos Hills Senior Programs. And these, uh, you know, my, my, just my observation here is uh, we're, we're kind of on hold. We need to develop um, a good strategy and work with staff for the opening, reopening of Grant and the opening of the new community center. Um, but we're not, we haven't done uh, much of that. So uh, I'm not sure, uh, should staff initiate that or how can we get more involved in that particular process? Because I know that uh, you all at, at, uh, at on staff are looking toward this and probably have some some plans in the incipient stage. Bridget, thank um, you. Could we get some input from Ian about um, what he would imagine be useful on this? Because this is marketing. Hello. Um, yes. In regards to, uh, I talked to Jerry about some campaigns to reach out to the community uh, using social media to get more submissions. Um, I think that would be good. I've also wanted to bring up perhaps having an email that's dedicated to gathering submissions to make it easier for the TV and everything. I would, that's what I think we could reach out to Andrew. Um, I also think, you know, uh, Cherry talked about uh, the scheduling, posting the schedules and stuff on the TV itself, I find would be very helpful. But honestly, I think if we have a more organized, we're, uh, I'm getting in contact with Josh to see what he wants from us to like, because we have either a half hour time slot or an hour time slot. So I'm very interested in hearing um, what he has to say about that and how we can organize it, it a little bit more. Because I think if there's uh, if we're doing what he wants, we'll we'll be able to play ball a little more. So the uh, the opening of the of the new center is scheduled for summer, and that's about as close as we can get. Um, June, July, uh, you know, it's I think that's just I, I don't believe that's nailed down yet. Is that correct? It, it, it is still to be determined. Mm -hmm. And, and as, the, as it changes, we'll definitely um, keep you all informed. Um, but just because COVID being in the mix, it, it does give us um, some, a few unknowns. Could I, could I interject another thing about the community center? And Please, something sure. that I forgot about. Our meeting on Friday, we were talking about amenities that are outdoors will be more likely in the first phase of things we're going to be able to use. So a big part of that is the bocce ball courts and hopefully the playgrounds and stuff we're talking about. Uh, but at the time too, what we need really are more instructors and people who are willing to come and help with the opening of the community center. Thank you, that, 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 that makes great sense. I have a question. Question. Yeah. Cohn. Commissioner Cohn. Under this project two that we're discussing, goal two, can we separate out the reopening of the senior center at Grant Park and the opening of the new community center? Because I'm not sure that we have to tie them together completely, that Grant Park couldn't open if it's ready, if program is program is programming is ready and the pandemic is at such a stage that we feel comfortable with it. 
Couldn't Grant Park open sooner? That's my question to the group or to the staff. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's most of the, the activities at Grant Park are indoors. Like all of them, as, as I. That's true. Uh, it's still TBD. I, th I think, um, I apologize, Cheryl Riley. Is it, a, is it okay that I comment? Yes, please. Um, <laughs> I apologize. I'll have to watch for the hands. Uh, not, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go like that. Um, and and I, I think, you know, these, these dates that are here, they're, they're target dates, but they may change. Um, and that's just because of COVID. And um, with the senior part, you know, we want to be mindful of following all the protocols, but um, it's still to be determined. Well, maybe we could rewrite, uh, consider rewriting, and I'm thinking that we, um, the subcommittee might mm -hmm. be a good idea for us to meet between now and, um, and the next meeting. In, in Definitely. April to uh, nail down the, the language and uh, some decisions about these to be brought back to the full commission. I think if that's I may, Chair Riley, if I may, do you, do you want to share with the commission sort of what happened? Because we had the big overview of, of the work plan, but do you want to just share um, the comments and when uh, we from met? The subcommittee? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, I'll 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 start that, and then hopefully uh, uh, Commissioner Golan and Commissioner Yao Nagao will uh, jump in here. Um, we we actually the, the, we looked through these and and uh, pretty much it came to the conclusion. For instance, for transportation, that's been on hold. Uh, last time I talked with uh, Sherry Anderson about uh, transportation use uh, reimbursement. It's absolutely flat. In fact, zero use or next to nothing. And I don't expect that to change until the bigger picture shifts. So most of these are, are still on hold until things change uh, as far as safety and, uh, it, and the opening and allowance of, of interpersonal contact. Um, Commissioner Cohen, do you, you have any other I, I, uh, suggestions? Or well, well, I think regarding the transportation goal, goal number three, I, I brought Can up- Can we move the uh, screen? Thanks. Thank you. I brought up the notion, since, since there's really no transportation happening, is there a possibility that we could use that to transport individuals to the vaccine to get their vaccines if it's in our catchment area i just brought that up so that was just one of the topics i brought up i wasn't sure if we could or we couldn't uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it, it's my understanding um because it is a reimbursement program so um if the seniors that want to use the program if they're following the guidelines um, that that are shown on the flyer um, they they could you know use a lift or an uber to the location um, and we've had this particular um, ride reimbursement program available since covid it's just um, i think because of covid there hasn't been um i ironically though i did get a call from someone today who was inquiring about it but um i i don't know if cherry's had any other phone calls but they can utilize the program and i just want to chair i just want to um echo what bridget is saying that yes um or or seniors can utilize or ride share program to go to get their vaccine I guess the, the, the question is, um, can we promote that more than it is promoting now? It's kind of a passive program. That we should, because we want them to use, if what's stopping them from getting tested or getting the vaccine is transportation, we definitely want the word to get out that this service is available. We can definitely do that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, that's that's a good point. Kevin, Kevin, yes. is, can I uh, just make a comment? Because these vaccines are being being given out out of our 
area relative to the ride program because I know that uh, Mountain View is doing it and the one at Panth now, they're gonna switch it over to the convention center. So I don't know if there's anything within that area outlined that will be covered the um, inoculations. Well, we've, we've expanded the, uh, the range of it uh, about a year ago to include uh, Stanford University Hospital and Panth on, on Mountain View, in Mountain View, et cetera. And El Kaiser in Mountain View. Yeah, yes. And so by the same process, we could just list uh, and ask for those to be uh, included. Uh, so w did we list uh, specific destinations or when you say Mountain View, because I had my first shot done at the community center in Mountain View. Not that far, but yeah, this, and, and well, they did a big job. You know, the, the, the problem is it, it's, it's public money and it needs to be accounted for very, very strictly. And so we had to identify addresses. Uh, so we went through that whole process of right. El Camino Hospital and then they have all these little um, locations around the hospital. So <laughs> it's a little involved, like, right? Right. <laughs> driving around, looking at looking up uh, numbers and what have you, but we included those. and. Uh, I guess we could do that. It's possible, uh, but it's a changing. Um, they, they change. They'll close one and open up another, uh, depending where you are. Yes, uh, as Commissioner Cohn. I think I think it's up to us to be as flexible as we can be within limits. Mm -hmm. um, the idea that we could go to El Camino Hospital, that but that we couldn't go to Mountain View Community Center. It's probably pretty equidistant apart, and plus they're closer than Stanford Health is. So I just think in this age when people are really struggling still to get vaccinations, any flexibility that we can bring into our goal, I I, I think that we should. Uh, well, or yeah, if, I, I, yeah I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Uh, yeah. it's, that, it's that, what's the thrust and what's the, what's the purpose of this whole thing comes up against uh, auditors uh, needs and requirements. So maybe the way to do this, if we could do it, is do ex post facto. If somebody gets to a, to a uh, vaccination site and sends the request in, then we will approve it, determine it's a vaccination site and approve it. Um, that sounds good to me. <clears throat> Yeah, well, it sounds good to me. I'm oh. not an auditor. <laughs> Council member, I agree, Chair, um, and, and you're right. For audit and legal purposes, we do need to identify the addresses um, for the transportation program. But having said that, like everything else, you know, with COVID, certain things have been waived. And so if Bridget or Cherry could figure out, do we need to amend um, the documents describing the program just to make it broader to say any and all vaccination sites within a certain distance um, fall within um, the parameters and the scope of the program. I think that we need to do that. But in the interim, I think it's, it's exactly what the chair said. If someone goes to a vaccination site and they submit their receipt, um, I don't expect that that will be rejected. Great. And, and just, just to answer what um, Council Liaison Mayor Flieger had said, I would just, the one thing I would need to do is just check back for approval um, and just bringing, up, bringing the COVID part up. Um, so that's something that I can follow up and look into. And we know that this, this discussion did come up a little bit um, during the work committee too. Very, I, I think those are great suggestions, and uh, let's. I'll, I'll follow up with you uh, on this one, uh, Bridget. Okay. And 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 Sherry too, because Sherry's uh, the, been my contact prior to that. All right. Um, goal four. Uh, goal five. Goal four is health, fitness, and safety education. Uh, uh, Doris and I have not been able to do um, any of the kind of education, uh, or particularly the advanced directive workshops. Uh, in my role on the uh, ethics committee of the County Medical Association and 
um, I've joined the uh, senior uh, round table. Uh, I've been promoting ways to uh, convince people to actually get their vaccines. It's astonishing, but in England here, 95% of people want to get vaccinated. In the United States, it's 67%. And of that 33%, 15% or 15 or 16% are no way. And the other fraction is going to be maybe. I'll see, see about it. I've written a paper that I've sent to various people on the strategy of convincing people uh, about uh, addressing their reasons for reluctance. And I think that in terms of overall health of the seniors, it's obvious to me that not only they, the elders, need to be vaccinated, the people who care for them need to be vaccinated. And it is these people, whether they are paid or family members, who sometimes are hesitant. Um, that's a specific thing that I've been doing kind of um, offline, if you will. But I don't know, is this something that we would engage uh, as part of our mandate uh, for the Los Altos, uh, Los Altos Hills uh, Senior Commission? And I, and I open that up as a question for the members. I, I don't know the I don't know the percentage. That, in fact, that was one of my notes to myself uh, before the meeting. I was was wondering what the percentage of vaccinations in our senior community, and I don't know we have any way of finding that out. Uh, I could I, find I, out. I so, so, Chair oh. O'Reilly, I'm yes. sorry. Yes, Mayor. And, and Commissioner, I don't want to butcher your last name. Um, but I would love to see a copy of that report um, that you mentioned. But Chair O'Reilly, I can get that data from the county. I know they have um, data on the different cities within the county. I, I don't know if it's granular enough to know how many seniors, but I think they have a broad number on how many of our residents have been vaccinated. So let me follow up with the county and see what I can get, but it may not be as granular as I think you're hoping for. Well, we, we appreciate any, any more information that might uh, indicate where, where we could help. Thank you, Mayor Flagger. Um, uh, let's see, where... So essentially, uh, uh, and I'm uh, Commissioner Bolkold, so this, uh, these parts of these uh, activities are still on hold and will be on hold until it's safe to, um, to hold them again. So uh, the last the last one, oh, no, goal five is maintain age-friendly city status. Uh, Commissioner Cohen, could you start us on this one? Bill and I have not worked on this yet. All right, to, to be done, okay. We, we have the, the criteria but it isn't clear um, how to determine the, the metrics to measure these. Most of the um, age-friendly certification has to do with intention to do actions. Uh, and so it, it, it's, I've looked at this and I've just not clear to me how we can um, actually investigate whether or not what we are doing or at least planning to do uh, keeps us in compliance. Jane? Commissioner Cohn? I think that I agree with what Bill is saying. We do have the criteria. When, I, when, when Chris and I were looking at, when Commissioner Nagao and I were looking at the other cities and what they're doing, it came to my attention on the two cities that I was looking at, Mountain View and Sunnyvale, that one of them is completely uh, engaged and compliant with the WHO requirements. And 
I forget which one was which. One was completely in compliant and one was well on the way to being compliant to the H, WHO and the age friendly. So we have, there's models out there, but we just haven't had the time at this point to you know, dig into it. There has been some preliminary work done, but we have to access that and then look at the other cities, see where they're at and see how they went. Maybe we could consult with one or the other and then maybe that would help us get going. But right now, um, you know, we really haven't made made progress on it. I have right. well, that's it's to, to, to be determined to, to yeah. in progress. Is that OK, Bill? Is that yes. All yes. right. And then find any any more on that. All right. And, and goal six, our recommendation to the subcommittee was to remove it or delete it uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, part of it is uh, my, my uh, it went off my radar after we after I sent um, Z, you and I had worked on it and uh, sent in uh, a number of changes, but they uh, they did they didn't respond. They couldn't be opened and. As, as we're looking at things, I think uh, much of the information that's, that has been, uh, that's present in the, uh, the online guide is going to be, need to be re, redone when the, when the community center opens, because that's going to determine a lot of programs will change, uh, locations will change, and all that. So it has to be redone again in any case. And a lot of the work uh, has been done. The other issue that uh, Commissioner uh, Cohn brought up is that the much more comprehensive list of, of resources throughout the entire county is on uh, is a resource guide uh, that the county maintains. So we had we had indicated and added that to all of the other uh, resources when we rewrote these, but uh, to try to re replicate that whole set. Uh, doesn't seem practical for us to do, uh, but so we'll, we'll revisit this at some time future when when the community center is open and we're out of this uh, lockdown process we're in right now. All right. Any other any other comments? Um, can I throw myself on the mercy of the court and, <laughs> and claim? Fatigue at this point, it's after midnight for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we still have a we still have a, qu a quorum bill, so you can be excused. <laughs> We're gonna wind it up pretty quickly anyway. Uh, uh, I've already wound up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. All right. Yeah, that's extraordinary to come in from London. Thank you. Stay well. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Bye. Take care, Bill. I have another comment about goal six. Yes. There's another amazing organization that keeps a very well delineated resource guide and that's SourceWise. That's what I was referring to. Yeah. Both the county and SourceWise keeps, you know, everything is so up to date. It's almost, I feel it's so redundant for us to try to do it. And it's like every two weeks, you're gonna have to keep adding and adding. I think it's a repetition of services. And I think it's some, I really recommend that we delete goal six. Yeah. So we can t talk about it next month, but that's, I really feel like we can, we actually cannot keep up, um, keep up with, with the work. That, no. that's, that's my feeling. No, the, when people are looking for resources, they're not thinking about the boundary lines of Los Altos. They're looking at a community, a much larger community, because everything doesn't exist in Los Altos. And so to uh, to have it to have a resource guide that's limited by boundary lines doesn't make sense and i agree with but source wise is, is clearly the best uh, best resource we have yeah and uh, i mean originally in our updated uh, resource guide we put source wise correct well. and so yeah so i think that's that's yeah. a great suggestion the only the only ones that were that were we wrote we were really worked on was the transportation and re, uh, reimbursement program which is specific to us here right. in yeah. Southwest, and we spent a lot of time on that but the rest of it uh, it, it doesn't make sense to do that so all right um, one more thing kevin yes, I, uh, commissioner Cohn. i think we should just make a note of it and that is that you know uh, pending what the new commissioners are, 
um, the, the work assignments will change. So this is a living document that's yes. constantly in motion. Good point, very good point. We, and we may reassign within uh, the existing yeah. uh, commissioner Depending group. Depending on people's, um, you know, what their interests are and, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. very good. Um, so uh, I would recommend that our that our subcommittee um, com communicate with each other and set a, a meeting date. Uh, maybe we could do that with the help of Bridget for one more meeting of uh, the subcommittee prior to the to the next commission meeting. Sarah Riley, I would be honored to do that. I will. I'll reach out to you um, to the work plan committee, which is is Chair O'Reilly, Commissioner Cohen, and Vice Chair Nagao. So I'll reach out to you all. Thank, Thank you. you, Bridget. All right. Next right. item on the agenda, if I can find it again, is the well, commissioner reports. I guess is. Or it's it's I, I'm sorry it, it's the staff it's the staff report. Staff report. All right. I'm, or, I'm be happy to. In front of me. Here we go. I know. <laughs> I am looking. I'm going to share my screen, and I'm doing the same thing. Um, it looks like. Uh, I don't believe uh, Sarah Robustelli is here. To, can you guys, can everyone see this? Yes, the, we can. Okay. So I'm just going to go quickly, and then if anybody has questions, feel free. So um, for Los Altos Hills, we've got spring and summer activity guide now available online for the classes and activities. She's got the link there. Um, important contacts brochure printed in, in the March newsletter and an interactive format interactive format available on, on the town's website uh, COVID testing appointment Monday March 1st and Monday April 5th from 9 30 to 4 at the town hall council chambers uh, 2021 inspirational banners parks and recreation committee invite you to submit your your design by residents to inspire residents deadline March 8th submit your original design to Sarah Robustelli drive through shred event scheduled for Saturday, March 20th from 8 to 11 at Town Hall, limited to Los Altos Hills residents. Hop and Hound at Home, when donating $10 or more to pets in need, participants will receive a kit with a bag of treats, don um, donor dog bandana, pets in need face covering, and a chance to win one of four large gift baskets. Kits will be available for pick, for pick of the week. 329 through April 3 at Town Hall. To participate, donate $10 or more to the Hop and Hounds at Home event page. Essential documents for aging seniors is looking to take place on April 21st, which is a Wednesday on 1130 to 1. There's a bit.ly link located with a passcode and phone number. Planning senior care options is July 21st. Wednesday, and it's 11.30 to 1. Uh, introduction to non-financial retirement planning, RSVP required, Los Altos Hills, California.gov. Um, spring 4.12, summer date 8.2. Day is Monday, 11 to 11.30. Location is virtual and it's free. Be your own personal trainer, May 5th, uh, which is a Tuesday, 2 to 2.30. Volunteering retirement secret secret sauce, uh, spring date 420, it's a Tuesday, 1030 to noon. Uh, fee is $40, 35 for resi resident rate. And for the city of Los Altos, um, one thing I did want to mention is the reorganization of the senior commission chair and vice chair is going to take place on Monday, April 1st. So that's something that Chair O'Reilly um, mentioned a little bit um, earlier. So April 1st, during the senior commission meeting, there will be a reorganization. Uh, chair and vice chair, the senior commission will nominate and vote on both commission seats. Just wanted to mention that. Uh, spring registration will be taking place March 22nd. The spring session will be from April 19th through May 31st. So we will have more information on that. There will be post, a postcard that's going out to everyone. So um, keep your eyes peeled and you can always call us. There are 
Um, the registration link is included here along with the virtual recreation center link. Um, this is also the link to the adult 50 plus spotlight newsletter so you can get all the upcoming happenings at the adult 50 plus program. Um, our 19th annual egg extravaganza. Los Altos Recreation and Community Services Department is re-imaging the 19th annual spring egg hunt. Decorate an egg and photograph them. Submit your creation to the bit.ly link mentioned here by Tuesday, March 23rd. Um, Wednesday, March 31st to Wednesday, April 21st, you can you can view the virtual egg extravaganza creations. That's a, a bit of a tongue twister there. Um, and also, um, we will be having a fun interactive scavenger hunt that you can do from home. So please take a look at the um, our website for more details. And it's, it's intergenerational. Anybody can do it. Uh, we have the U.S. Masters Gardener, Gardeners presentation, U.S. Masters Gardeners of Santa Clara County presentation on drought resistant planting Thursday, March 11th at 11. And um, the Senior Center is also doing a virtual scavenger hunt on Thursday, April 8th at 11. Cable TV Channel 15 March program with Tai Chi class, meditation, cooking class, youth performances, ukulele, violin, and piano. Uh, then the COVID resource link, parks, restrooms, and playgrounds will remain open. To stay updated with the latest information, please visit our city website. And then just to say uh, more details about all of our programs and activities, such as the 50s adult program, um, please reach out, please reach out to us. And that concludes the staff report. And... Well, thank you, Bridget. Why, thank you. Thank you. Quite a bit of the activity. Try to uh, stay busy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, commissioner reports and comments. Um, I don't know whether you've been, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Commissioner Besigi and Commissioner Nagao were, were part of the uh, Grant Park uh, task force. Have they met at, at all, or uh, is there anything to report out, or should we wait till? No, we have not met, so still waiting for that invite for us to get together to discuss that. All right, well, I will uh, probably possibly by next meeting, we'll, there'll be something to report. I'd be interested to hear what, what that is. Um, any other uh, items that are, any other thoughts here before we adjourn? I, uh, Chair O'Reilly, yes. if I may. I just have um, on the agenda, we put um, two future agenda items. Oh, yes, pardon me. Um, the first one is the reorganization of the Senior Commission, which I actually believe it, I want to say it's April 5th. It's the first, it's always the first Monday of the month. So that's when we would be having the April reorganization. 5th. And then um, special joint meeting with City Council on May 4th. That's just another future item. So the uh, would be reorganization, and then it, I brought possibly or probably the uh, finalization of the 2021-22 uh, um, work plan. So that would be the two main, yes. main jobs of the next uh, meeting, as far as I can see. Oh. Any other, it's, uh, Commissioner Cohn? We might have a report, an update on the work plan to go on the agenda. I think, oh yeah, we, because we're going to meet again, aren't we going to? Correct, correct. We, we um, might uh, okay. present it again at the April meeting, correct? Report on the work plan and then the finalization, you know, agreement, uh, adopt, adoption by the committee, by the commission. Uh, yeah. That is our work plan. So, so we'll uh, add that. <laughs> all right, so we have the report, the uh, finalization, and then the reorganization. That's good. I think we covered it, have we? Any other? No. Thank you so much. Do we have a, a I motion? <laughs> do, do we have a second? I'll I second. second. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Thanks so much, folks. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.